Welcome everyone, uh, Teal here. Um, if you've seen my previous video, you probably know that I mentioned the poor optimization uh, of uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, and I'm going to cover that in more detail in this video. Uh, possibly bring up, like, I'm not not, not a fix, but I'm, I can tell you why I what I think causes the uh, low frame rate that you're going to get in this game. Uh, now, if you've played uh, the Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind, I think that's like the base area. I don't know. That's where I spawned in when I uh, bought the game on Steam. Uh, you're you're going to notice like as soon as you enter Vivek City, like you during the tutorial and stuff, you're going to notice you have 100 frames. It's capped at 100 frames. That's that's pretty good. Um, but as soon as you enter Vivek City, you're going to be noticing like you're running epic everything max particle density uh, max resolution max water reflections everything you enter the vex city 40 fps 43 maybe and you're rocking a graphics card and processor five times or something better than the recommended system settings for this game not the minimum the recommended uh let's let's check the uh the uh, recommended here um, GTX 10 750 uh, and I'm going to use like uh, user benchmark and compare GTX 750 versus my RTX uh, 2080 which it's sadly a laptop so it's going to be a bit less powerful but I mean it's only 20% at max pretty much uh, and we're going to check uh, which one is uh, like the difference because it or GTX 750 is the uh, recommended uh, uh, system settings. Okay, RTX 2080 is 651% better than the GTX 750. Okay, the average user bench is 689% better, higher. Well, whatever you want to say. Okay. That's nearly 700% better. And it still can't reach 60 FPS in some places. I was going to say 70, but 70 doesn't really matter. 60. Okay. Uh, now, I would be somewhat fine if it could reach... If it was like 60 in heavily populated areas with like 50 players. Like uh, the Vivek City, City Waste Rhine. There's a lot of people there in like where you level your uh, blacksmith and uh, Garmin or whatever it's called. And there's always a lot of people there, like 50 people or something. That that I could understand. Okay, there I could understand 60 FPS. Not, not lower but than 60, but 60. But when you're in a city, doesn't have to like be any NPCs like rendered in. None. It's still, you're still going to experience that frame drop. Actually... The lowest frame drops are in places, st stone uh, structures, not not stones, like rocks and stuff, stone structures. Uh, and this is something I've noticed uh, while playing the arena as well. Um, sorry, my mouth got a bit dry there. By playing the uh, arena, the battlegrounds, the PvP mode. Uh, all stone structures decrease your frame rate from like cap at 100. Uh, down to 60 70 fps well for me anyway uh, that's not good i mean for a game with sis recommended system requirements which are six seven hundred percent worse than what i have imagine the people that have a gtx 10, 750 and think oh you, you need you need a um, gtx 1050 to run this yeah that's that sounds good i i have a gtx 1050 and this 750 and this this game looks pretty cheap i mean I, I i'll buy this uh so you boot up the game uh you have to download first like 110 gigabytes on steam then 160 gigabytes for the launcher and the game after the steam download uh so like five days later when you're finally done with that long ass download you start the game okay you do the tutorial you're like mm, this is pretty fun uh you enter vivek city because you're going to speak to uh, Vivek. Uh, and 
damn, I'm at fifth, I'm at four FPS. What the fuck happened? I was capped at sixty. I was at one hundred at times, and now I'm at four FPS. What happened? Well, stone strikers, I guess, because they're that hard to render or something. You won't have a problem with NPCs. You won't have a problem with players. Uh, even if you have high particle density, you're not going to be experiencing uh, that much, like that many frame drops uh, below 100. But it's buildings, particularly stone ones. Wood seems to be slightly lighter on your machine. I don't know why. But stone structures cause a huge performance loss. Uh, I mean, I don't. If it wasn't capped at. Uh, what is it? 100. I would, let's say I would be up in like 2, but let's say 200 for the sake of it. Uh, and then you drop down to below 60. How is the stone, stone structure that demanding? I don't know. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't know how this problem remains since. Uh, the game is what it's. Uh, how old is it? It's from like 2013, so it's basically as old as Skyrim at this point, and they still haven't fixed this. People must have been complaining about it. I mean, I've seen posts complaining about the low performance in towns, uh, but it's still not fixed. Seven years later, almost. Um, let's see my processor. I've, I've pulled up the things here. Uh, it's 56% better. Average user bench is 73% better than, and that's the recommended. So we're looking at a total of here of, um, let's say, let's say 700, let's divide that into 350% better than the recommended se settings, um, for processor and GPU. Then I'm not talking about RAM, uh, recommended Windows 7, Windows 10, uh, Okay, DirectX 11 compliant video card. I have that. Two, two gigabytes of RAM. I have eight, I think. Well, two gigabytes of video RAM, I think, anyway. Memory, eight gigs of RAM. I have 32. I think 32,611 uh, megabytes of RAM. So, 32.6 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> and guess what? I can't handle Elder Scrolls Online uh, with Epic and Mac, well, with Epic and high settings, with 56 render distance. 56, that's half, pretty much, basically half the standard render distance. Half. Uh, with a 5, no, almost 7 times as powerful uh, graphics card as the recommended. And I'm going to search, uh, I'm going to look up uh, ESO frame drops. I've Googled this before because I wanted to see if anybody else has uh, had the same problems, the same issues here uh, as I have. Is it normal that FPS drops down to unbearable 30 FPS in ESO? It's weird because I got get constant 160 plus FPS in other MMORPGs, also on ultra settings. This guy has an uh, i9. 9 1940x no clue if that's good I only know the 9900k and HK and 98 whatever and a 2080 Ti 2080 Ti that's the second most powerful consumer graphics card available pretty much if I understand this correctly uh, second only to the Titan RTX uh, apparently as an old engine, can't they change the engine? I mean, I hope that someone at Cinemax sees my two feedback videos that I'm making this one and the one about the fucking expensive crowns. Because, uh, like, this, the, this game, it, it has the potential to be one of the best games I've ever played. Like, not Topping Order and Chaos and not Ark. Well, better than Ark. Uh... Strictly technically speaking, I mean they're pretty much on the same level. Both have pretty bad optimization and 
they're too different to really compare. Or gets better graphics, higher frame rates in pretty much all, well, in even the most demanding locations, you're still going to be, get higher FPS on Ark. Damn, I really want to play Ark right now. Uh, I don't know what I was talking about before because I have really bad memory and I'm also reading this article on the Elder Scrolls forums. Uh, but yeah, like, Cinemax, if you're watching this or anybody that has some form of contact with Cinemax, tell them to fix this. Like, I don't, like, you added some, this cool, cute <laughs> uh, wolf dog-ish skin a couple of days ago that's in the store. I think it's one day left. It might might be gone now. Super cute, but I don't want to have a cool mount on a game that's fundamentally broken. It's just, nah, I'd prefer a great game with like a, a boring ass horse or something. If I could get like constant 60 FPS in all locations, maybe 100. Uh, <laughs> this guy, so, uh, right here, I'm, I'm reading the forums. Uh, he, he wants you to uh, play borderless uh, to... to uh, settings that have issues with FPS, fill of view, uh, and reflections, uh, which are apparently more demanding than shadows. Uh, I have 50 view distance, still running below. I've, I've encountered 43 FPS, and then I have high shadows and high reflections, not like max reflections. I don't know if max. I I don't have. I have one setting below max on shadows and reflections. I don't know if it's epic or uh, especially on reflections. I'm, I don't really have a clue. Uh, I, I mean, I just fix the game. Like, come on, Cinemax. I want to play this game. I want to enjoy it. I mean, I'm having fun, but not while I'm in Vivek City, which is where I have to go to, like, buy stuff, change my outfits, sell things. Level blacksmithing, that's like my main uh, state, I don't, I don't know, my pretty much my base, I guess, in, in uh, Vardenfell, which is the only place I've been to so far, considering like traveling to some other place later on. But right now I want to finish Vardenfell and like do it one location at a time. But it's really hard to enjoy the game when you're sitting at 40 FPS with an RTX 20. 2080, an Intel Core i7-9750H, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, which is in total uh, around 300 and... Wait, I haven't even checked. I mean, I haven't, I haven't even added RAM to the uh, application here. So, let's go with 689 plus 50... I think it was 78, but I'm going to go with 56. Plus, how many times better is that? That's 8, 16. Ty plus, I guess, four, 400. Uh, okay, and divide this in 3. When you have 878% of the, like, recommended. I, I know this doesn't, like, in... In theory, it doesn't really work like this. But let, let's just say I have 878% uh, better specs than the recommended. And I'm not getting uh, 60 FPS. Dropping down to 40 in some places. You should be able to fix this. Like even Arc, which is known for horrible optimization, can run better and more smoothly than this. Uh, but that's really all, all I have to say. This is going to be my last ESO my ne last negative ESO rant, I guess. Um, maybe some tutorials for beginners, because I'm a beginner. Uh, review of Ordering Chaos Online coming up on Wednesday. Going to be writing the script today. Those are my only scripted videos, because I want them to truly like uh, match the quali quality of the game I'm playing. I can't even speak. My mouth is so dry, and I'm Swedish as well, so my English isn't that good. Uh, anyway... I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a really long video. Uh, and I'm terribly sorry for that. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. <clears throat> bye bye.